the miscreant who robbed me of my love. But vengeance pursues. They are heating the cauldron. Catashaw, behold a suppliant at your feet. Catashaw, mercy. Mercy! <laughs> Had you mercy on him? See here, you, you have slain my love. <laughs> he did not love me, but he would have loved me in time. I am an acquired taste. <laughs> Only the educated palate can appreciate me. I was educating his palate when he left me. Well, now he is dead, and where shall I find another? It takes years to train a man to love me. Am I to go through the weary round again, and at the same time implore mercy for you, who have robbed me of my prey? Pupil, just as his education was on the point of completion. Oh, where shall I find another? Here, here. What? Catashaw, uh, uh, for years I have. Oh, for years I have loved you. Catashaw, <laughs> for years I have loved you with a white hot passion that is slowly but surely consuming my very vitals. <laughs> ah! Shrink not from me. <laughs> if there is aught of woman's mercy in your heart, turn not away from a love-sick suppliant whose every fiber thrills with your tiniest touch. <laughs> True it is that under a poor mask of Disgust. I have endeavored to conceal a passion whose inner fires are broiling the very soul within me, but the fire will not be smothered. It defies all attempts at extinction, and breaking forth all the more eagerly for its long restraint, it declares itself in words that, that will not be weighed, that cannot be schooled, which should not be too severely criticized. Petashaw. <laughs> I dare not hope for your love, but I will not live without it. <laughs> <laughs> Darling! <laughs> you whose hands still reek with the blood of my betrothed, dare to address words of passion to the woman you have so foully wronged. I do. Accept my love, or I perish on the spot. Go to. Who knows? <laughs> so well as I, that no one ever yet died of a broken heart. Ooh, you know not what you say. This. <laughs> On a tree by a river, a little hobbit sang willow, tick willow, tick willow. And I said to him, Dickie Bird, why do you sit singing willow, tit willow, tit willow? Is it weakness of intellect, birdie, I cried, or a rather tough worm in your little inside? With a shake of his poor little hand, he replied, oh, willow. And if you remain callous and obdurate, I 
shall perish as he did, and you will know why. Though I probably shall not exclaim as I die, oh, won't it, won't it, won't it. Yeah. <laughs> 